Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so pleased you're here. Today is a What's the Tea reading. I can't wait to do this. I love doing them. They're just full of juicy gossip and it's whatever spirit feels the need to spill. So let's see what the cards have to say. Just a quick reminder though, if you've been brought here, it will be for a reason. There will be messages here for you. This could be about something you've been through if it sounds familiar or it could be about something you're going through or what is yet to come in. As I said before, you have been brought here for a reason if you feel drawn to this video. So let's get into it, shall we, and see what tea Spirit wants to spill. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Jade. I'm an Aquarius, so I do Aquarius readings on this channel as well. But I often do What's the Tea readings and I'm going to be starting up doing um, love readings for those who feel drawn to the videos. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you, leave the rest for others. Um, and of course, as I'm channeling the energy as a whole, feel free to swap the roles around if you feel fit. If you feel like they resonate uh, the other way around, then that is perfectly fine. And if you do need a personal reading, I do them. I love doing personal readings. It helps us to connect on a much more deeper level. I've got a website. I'll link it in the description of the video. It's got all my readings on there. Or if you can't find what you're looking for, then just drop me an email. The email address again is in the description of the video and I'll be more than happy to help. Now let's get these cards shuffled and see um what spirit wants to tell you about we will get a broad look at what's going on and then we will also get the outcome as well the cards are quite hard to shuffle um i haven't really used this deck for a while so maybe that's it but they're not really playing ball today <laughs> oh dear <laughs> Let me know in the comments section where you're from as well. It fascinates me to know where the video is reaching. Okay, let's... Oh, how quick? How quick was that? What have we got? Child services. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? All right, okay. We will uh, keep going. See what else we get. These cards are screaming at you today. Whoever this is for, there's a big message. If you find that this is not resonating for you, then please could you drop some advice in the comment section for the person who this is for. Um, I do believe that we can all help each other and there's a lot of very supportive um, subscribers I have on this channel. If you feel stuck or if you need any help at all, just pop it in the comment section if you feel comfortable doing that and we will be more than happy to help and lift each other up as that's what we do on this channel. And of course I will try my best to help as well. Right, so interesting storyline, quite a lot of energy here but it's... um. There is a, a, a big storyline here that's kind of jumping out to me already. And for some of you, you may have a ex, an ex or a friend who is feeling a bit bitter towards you and they are trying to cause some trouble here. Um, you may have children or they may have children and uh, they aren't really the best parent and people know that they aren't a very good parent, they don't put their children first or the other storyline I'm picking up here is that they are trying to smear your name as a parent, perhaps telling others that you aren't a good parent, that, that they would be better for the child that, that you, than you are um, and they're just trying to put you down. This could be an ex, like I said, a vindictive ex or even someone who knows you and who is jealous who wants to look like a better parent than you and um, maybe you know gossiping with d other mams and dads uh, things like that just very petty very petty um behavior i'm feeling here it's all very childish but they are saying that you aren't a very good parent for those of you who have children or if you don't have children it's them 
who aren't uh, the good parent here. They they do have a bad reputation and they are trying to drag your reputation through the dirt as well to smear your name. They are doing this through some kind of evidence that they think they have. So they may be taking screenshots and um, if you've had any conversations with them about different different things that make you look bad, they will be showing other people. So this person you can not trust be careful what you tell others and try to keep things to yourself because this person is trying to get some evidence against you to back up their rumors um, and to try to make you look bad if it's a, if it's an ex they are trying to make you look like a bad parent if you have children with them and they're taking screenshots because you are acting cold towards them. Whoever this person is, as it's different for everybody, but you are acting cold towards this person and this has got their back up. Because you are not giving this person any more attention, because you may have... Um, you know, you may have ghosted them. You may have said, no, I'm not dealing with this energy anymore. I think you know that this person is toxic and you aren't willing to put up with the energy that they're giving you, um, which which means that you, you have said goodbye to them. You may have just ignored their last messages or may any kind of attempt that they're trying to reach out to you. You're just blocking it because you don't want to have that energy in your life. You are setting up healthy boundaries, dodging bullets. You know this person's bad. You know that this person comes with a lot of negativity. This, whoever this is, whether it be an ex or a friend, th those are the two main energies I'm picking up. I know I keep saying it, but that's what I'm just picking up here. Someone who you know is bad. Someone who is trying to get in your space to try and get in your energy. But you can see this coming from a mile off. You know that they are trouble. You know that they are coming at you with uh, malicious intent you know they they don't have your best interest at heart unless you do what they want what they want you to do and um, they they play some pretty nasty games here but you you're too busy hustling you have your mind on other things you're winning at life you're trying to grow your money you you may be focused on your career you may be focused on uh, your next moves your goals that you have whatever it is you're going places you're leveling up you haven't the time for this there could be some kind of love triangle here perhaps another person is involved with this mix Another storyline I'm picking up is if you are in a relationship with someone, it's actually their ex that's trying to say that you are bad parents or whatever it is because they are jealous. They are wanting to get in uh, on, on the energy here. They feel left out in the cold. There, someone here is haunted by their past traumas. There's something that someone is not able to let go. There's some kind of trauma here. They are haunted by memories of the past, which may be the reason why they are acting this way. Or this can also point to you being extra cautious because um, you've experienced some kind of trauma before and you know to protect your own energy. You aren't someone who's who's going to be gullible um, and fall for their manipulative ways because you've had to deal with this before. I've got the boss daddy card. Again, I am picking up different scenarios, so I'll just tell you what I get. The boss daddy card can represent someone uh, coming into your energy who's a better fit for you. Maybe you've moved on. Maybe you found someone who is like a boss daddy. They have bossed up and they, they are someone who treats you better than the ex um, and the ex is jealous. Or this can also mean that you are becoming your own boss. You are leveling up. You are... You are um, reaching different heights you you are no longer on this person's level uh, and they know this they know this they are out of your league basically i've also got the um 
cock blocking card sorry for the language but this is what i have this person here feels that the reason you are not inviting them in anymore the reason why you are not welcoming their energy and you're ignoring them is because either uh, you have moved on if it's an ex and, and someone is treating you better or you are wanting someone better than them or this can also represent your energy as well. Maybe you've bossed up. Maybe you are someone um, who who is, is saying that because you have leveled up and, and they are not reaching your level anymore, this is what's putting a stop to you welcoming their energy. You're ignoring them because of this reason. Instead of looking at their own um, issues, instead of looking at the, the trouble they are causing, uh, they would rather blame the, re blame the fact that you are either too snobby for them now or maybe you think that you're better than them or the fact that you've moved on or there's someone else in the mix that's what they feel anyway even if it's not true they believe that's the reason I mean heaven forbid they look at their own issues you know or they take some accountability here they just aren't willing to do that so they'd rather blame that on different different things instead of them um, looking in the mirror really so let's see what will be the outcome with this situation. To be honest, I just feel these cards are just not behaving. They're really not. They're getting all muddled up here. The, I do believe everything happens for a reason. Um, I know they say a bad, work, um, bad, bad workman blames their tools but honestly i can shuffle usually um you can check out my other videos but these cards just don't want to be shuffled today so maybe it's because you feel a little muddled up or like you feel like you can't really um get a grip of, of the whole situation as i'm struggling to grip these cards so we're seeing now what is the outcome of this situation here i honestly feel like you haven't got the time for this anymore and i'm right to be honest with these cards I can see that uh, you're busy focusing on other things so what I've got here is the eight of pentacles which tells me that you will be working on something I see you mastering some kind of skill here learning uh, something new and I do see you putting work and effort into probably um protecting your own energy setting up that boundary that you need and using your skills to put a stop to whatever is going on here Th this person they are trying to build up this web of lies about you and trying to tarnish your reputation but you will be putting a stop to this and i see you literally like a lightning bolt coming crashing down and um putting all of the the nasty horrible work that they are doing behind the scenes you're going to be destroying this i've got the tower card aries energy and um, and it's literally means that it's just going to come crashing down for them whatever they are building up it's now not going to work for them i see it being destroyed basically just destroyed completely put to the ground um, and a, a stop will be put to this and i just see them looking up at you <laughs> at you coming down with your lightning bolt then striking this down and putting a stop to their vindictive ways i've also got the king of pentacles here telling me that once you've done this you will of course be just sitting back smiling and feeling comfortable with your surroundings knowing that they literally cannot touch you this person is not a threat um, I see you having everything that you need to prove this person wrong and uh, others will not believe their lies so don't worry about that your reputation will not be tarnished and I do see you moving away from this you may even be looking at relocating but I do see choices coming here I do see new opportunities and I see you trying to choose which would be the better option for you I think you will be making plans to move forward and progress. Any goals that you have, you will be making your way towards those. And this will just be a thing of the past. Whatever um, 
whatever it is that they are doing don't worry about it you will not even worry about this it's not even it, it's nothing really it's laughable what they are trying to do because it will have literally no effect so don't worry about that and what you don't see coming yes walking away i knew it i should have called it i've got the eight of cups telling me that you will be leaving something behind so um if you feel like it's better to relocate, to leave uh, your home um, in order to just move away completely and have a fresh start, that's what I see you doing. Or again, if it's um, a friend circle that this person is involved with, rather than deal with uh, any energy coming your way from them, you may even just say goodbye to certain people that they're associated with. But I do see you leaving something behind in order to start a new adventure and you will be starting a fresh start i see you paving the way um in, into a more brighter and abundant future for you but you will be doing this properly i see you taking time having patience and building things up brick, brick by brick and you will see that you don't need any help you don't need anyone around you who is going to bring you down you've got your own back and you are quite capable of um of doing everything on your own really you you are a self made person and you will come into power and I see you being being very healed as well I've got the two of cups what you will see coming there could be romance for you you may be um re going through a union with someone here an exchange of energies I was going to say reunion before maybe an ex does come back not this ex of course not the vindictive one maybe some Someone else from your past is making a return whatever this is i do see you exchanging energies with others and finding your tribe even if it's just you finding um new friends or finding a, a more supportive network around you and saying goodbye to this because they just don't deserve your energy do they let's get some charms and see what we have for you oh quite a few charms we've got a beautiful butter we've got two butterflies wow you know this reminds me of a parent and a child isn't that beautiful they've they're big and small so these butterflies um represent messages from our loved ones in spirit if you see butterflies alive or just pictures of butterflies even it is messages from our loved ones um, and also this this does represent transformation i do see big changes coming in for you uh, and i see growth i see things being different but i definitely feel like it is a bond between a parent and a child perhaps it's you and, and your child moving away from this i've got the mountains this tells me that any obstacles that come into your path you're going to find a way around this you will see past your obstacles and be able to um, find a, a better path for you uh, you are able to move mountains that's literally what I'm hearing here so don't worry everything will be well I don't think you were worried anyway to be honest this energy is far too childish for you and you're focused on brighter things good on you if you've enjoyed this reading please could you drop a like and a comment I love to read all of your comments and it will help others to see this video uh, and consider subscribing i'd love to have you back again make sure you hit that little bell button so you'll be notified of when i next upload and for a personal reading drop me an email or see my website take care see you next time